So this is probably one of the saddest videos I've seen and something that, you know, in time that I've tried to advocate. While I am a person who is always excited about mobile technology and always making videos on various different platforms to share that information, this is also the other reason why I try to also kick a message that we just kind of need to step back a little bit on these things. And this is why. Take a look at this. Take the baby bag. <clears throat> Job. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Now, I couldn't even imagine if any of my kids did this because if any of my kids did this, um, it, yeah, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be an amazing moment for them. They would have the most spectacular moment of their life dealing with me if they've ever done something like this. But I can only feel for the mother. You can hear her in the video. She's sobbing. You know, she's heartbroken because somebody so close to her who she loves so much, her own child, destroyed that house the way that they did. And this is the thing that I'm trying to kind of like get people to understand. When I say things like you can't use mobile technology such as a smartphone, tablet, or even gaming consoles and online gaming to raise your kids and become their surrogate parent. I've said that before and people have taken that to offense. But if you're putting these things in, in the hands of your children and expecting that to take care of some of the time that you, necessar that you necessarily should be spending with your kids, you end up giving that responsibility to an inanimate object. Can't be mad if someone calls it out and says that you're turning that thing into a surrogate parent because the child is learning from that, but they're also immersing themselves mentally into that digital world and creating this, this um, safe haven for them that if you take that away, things like this could happen. Now, I'm not saying every child is going to respond that way and destroy their parents home um but some will i.e this video and the saddest part about all of this is is like you look at the video you see how much damage was done not only was there damage to the house itself like the like the breakfast bar and all that other stuff the windows the windows in the bathroom and everything the toilet seat and all that but you're also looking at the things that they bought like the, you know their their other smart tech their smart technology in the house like their smart tvs you know you know radio systems um laptops tablets all that stuff was destroyed and i don't think this child even understands the severity of what they just done i mean technically parents can't be pushovers anymore i know that from the time that i was a child up until now parents have laxed on discipline with their kids because of things like child protective services and all these things that have been used as a tool to threaten parents so parents wouldn't discipline their kids the way that the, the kids should be but in this case in this case honestly corporal punishment is probably not out of line uh if you come home to well over ten thousand dollars worth of damage 
um, by a 12 year old simply because you you punished your child by taking away their phone, no phone for a ho however long, maybe it was just 24 hours, maybe it was just a week. Um, crazy enough that this happened. And so I say unto, unto people out there is you, you have to monitor what your kids do. You have to set limitations to what your kids do with these devices. They cannot just be given these devices and just say, go nuts and alleviate your time to get online yourself. Because you, normally that's most of what the MO is when it comes to a child um, being totally immersed in mobile technology is because the parent is totally immer immersed in mobile technology by either being on social media, TikTok, or whatever. Um, look, we got to set limitations. We got to set limitations. We got to set the ground rule. Uh, kids got to understand parents are parents and parents lay the rule. That's how it goes. I mean, it may sound harsh, but here's the chain of command. I say what my kids need to do and they do it. End of chain. It's pretty much that because I would never tell my kids to do anything wrong. Everything I tell my kids to do is for their own benefit. Having them do their chores is for them to learn how to keep a tidy place. So when they're adults and they grow on their own, they'll be clean. I sure as hell wouldn't want their friends making fun of them 18, 19, 20 years old and they can't keep an apartment clean. You know, that reflects on me on how I raise my kids. So I, I lay down rules and they follow them and they do them. That's that. Um, they're limited on the things that they do. They're not 24 seven on their stuff. They got to they gotta play, they got to read. So it's a, it's a balance of everything. Um, times have changed. Yes, I get it. And you want your kids to be knowledgeable in mobile technology as you know, when they get older, there's gonna be a lot of jobs that's gonna be reliant on like stuff like that. So you want them to be comfortable with it. But you don't want it to be everything to them. And they need to experience other things like getting outside and going and playing. That's something that I think is a dying thing that needs to come back. Anyways, let me know what you guys thoughts are on this. Peace.